Okay, this is Wednesday, May the 9th, and this is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and this will serve as our chart lesson for the day. And real quickly, let me copy this line because I should have had this down here, but I'd taken it off and forgot to put it back. But uh, I believe that's where I had mine right across there. Uh, so we did have a somewhat of a trading range. We were really in a trading range when we opened this morning. There's the big picture. We had the trend line coming down from the overnight. We broke it, went into a trading range, sold off a couple of legs, then the trend reversed. We had a trend line break here, and then a couple of legs up to a new high, on the, and then off to the races down to the downside again. So as you can see, if you follow your trend lines, you know, they're going to keep you on the right side of the market most of the time, and it's going to give you a clue when to be looking for um, the reversals. But let me back out here where we can see this, and you can see real clearly now this is a trading range type area right here. Uh, the market opened right in here, and there was a long here if you wanted to take this. We had a failed break. Uh, we had a little uh, fail break lower. There was no trend line break really to mention yet. I don't think this was good enough to really count. This was really the trend line break and then the move to a new low here. Um, so it was a little risky going long, but if you went long right there, uh, this is a failed break out of this little congestion. See all these overlapping bars? You broke lower, prices reversed. It's also a higher low than this failed break here. We had a failed break uh, here as well. So um, we were looking for a second leg, and we did get it. We actually got a third leg that went up and tested these highs up here. So um, if, if you went long here, it was okay. If you went long here, it was really a lot more risky. But it is a higher low, as you can see that right there. This low is higher than this one, and this low is higher than this one. Uh, but also this low here is higher than both of those, and you see what happened. You would have got trapped. Uh, but it was obvious not to be going long there because we just came off a double top um, up here near these highs that we'd been here before. So that was a good clue. Don't be looking for a long until we come back down here. And there were actually two longs off this and this. This one was not as obvious, but this one was fairly obvious right here because we bounced again right here. Uh, so if you took either one of these, there were nothing wrong with them because you should have probably moved your uh, bars up to a lot, about right there, or at least right there by this time. That really looks like it to me. And this is just a fail break lower, so there was another entry there, but I didn't mark that one just for obvious reasons. Uh, the trend was down. We were looking for uh, a retest of the low, and we didn't really get it until we broke down into here. So, But let me just go over each of the trades real quickly. And I only I think I've marked the trades through about lunchtime because there were plenty of entries by then. Uh, if you weren't done by lunchtime today, then you probably got tripped up right in here. But uh, your first short was right here. It was the first break of the trend line. It was a second entry short. Here's your, your new low, so the count's zero. Prices are backing up. There's your first attempt to go lower, so there's your first entry. Then prices pull back again. There's your second entry right there. It was an easy scalp. You didn't get any more than that, but it was a nice, easy scalp. Um, and it's a nice little two-legged move. Here's leg one. Um, just try to draw this exact. There's leg one, then you pull back, and then there's leg two. And uh, didn't quite make it there, and that's probably why we went on for this third leg here. Uh, it's really close. You can see there that we got really close, and they tried to go on and test this high. They could even get up there. Uh, but anyway, nice second entry short right here. So that was a nice uh, short entry. If you went long right there, it was okay. Uh, it was a little risky, but it was okay because we hadn't, you know, the odds were we were probably trying to test this high right here. And when this made a little higher low than that high, that's telling you that the sellers are getting weaker and the Fires are getting stronger, and you can see how all these people that got short here had to exit because it really rocketed out of there. But once it hit this resistance area up here, uh, you got a double top. You've actually got all these overlapping bars. They fell out the low side first, went back up, made a double top, closed way off the high here. So going short right here was a nice second entry short, and. Uh, I don't believe your runner survived this one if you moved them to break even. 
Uh, but then you got, and this is just one leg, and then you got a second leg down. And again, there was a long right here. I didn't mark it because it was kind of questionable because we were expecting two legs down to a new low, and we didn't have a new low yet there. Uh, so that's a good clue that more lows are coming. But this, now you now it's kind of obvious that we're in this trading range when it bounced here. And so there was another short up here, and you could have gotten trapped in right here. Um, but look how bullish that is coming off that low. You know you're going to get another attempt uh, at a second leg, and this is the second leg. It's not as long as this one, but that's a good sign. So if you went short right there, it was okay, but it was better uh, to wait because it wasn't clear if this was going to be good enough. That's two legs. It wasn't 100% clear that uh, that we wouldn't go higher again here. Uh, so if you waited, that was okay, but this was a good setup right here. Long, you know, again, keep your stop above the the signal bar, which is right here. And even if you'd tighten it below uh, above the entry bar, uh, you still would have been safe. But when t prices ticked up here and s right here above this bullish bar and failed and turned and closed on the slow, that's where you want to go short for certain. And uh, that's why I marked it here and not here because this is a, a perfect setup and you can see prices rocketed right down here to where you expected. So you might have been thinking about exiting here or at least tightening your stop up to above each bar as it went down and that would have got you out. Um, if you tighten it above that bar right there, that would have got you out right there, very close to the low. And then here is just a two-legged pullback. And you notice this low is lower than that one. And I can't remember if this broke. No, it's a perfect double bottom. But uh, anyway, this is a second. This is a two-legged pullback to the EMA. We made a, a new high here, a lower high. And this high is lower than that. That's like a reversal bar right at the EMA. So going short, there's plenty of room to scalp out before these lows. So going short right there is another good trade. And this one uh, took on off. And you probably would have kept a runner on this one. And at least you should have, depending on how you played it. Um, and so there's, you know, this is good for several points right there. So this was a really good setup right here. And um, hopefully you caught that one. This is a failed break lower. Notice that we got all these overlapping bars and you got this nice bearish bar and prices ticked one tick lower. Reverse closed almost on the high. So going long right there was a good trade. It's a failed break lower. We've had a break of a trend line. We've had several legs down to a new low. We had all this overlap. We had a failed break lower. And uh, you're figuring that prices are going to at least come back and test this high and probably even come back and test this high in this breakout area across here. And that's exactly what happened. So if you caught this, uh, you were long from the low of the day. And that's what you're looking to do. That's what you're hoping to do. And uh, so this was a great setup, and you could have ridden this all the way to the highs today. Uh, I would have definitely ridden it back to right here. But when we didn't quite get there, it got a little scary right here. But if you were waiting on your trend line, my trend line moved there for some reason. Let me just adjust this a little bit, and you can see that right there. That was a perfect trend line. There was no reason you couldn't find these moves. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you caught that because if you did, you could have made yourself, uh, you know, eight or ten points here really easy. Uh, actually, it's more than that. If you entered down here, it was around three between 340. Uh, there's ten points, so 15 or 16 points easy off that move. And um, hopefully you were able to do that. And this, you know, I made did pretty well right over here. But this trade right here, it only takes one of these. You know, you get two or three runners going on a trade like this, and you're talking about some nice money. So um, hopefully you got some of that today. But uh, even if you didn't catch it here, this is a two-legged pullback to the EMA and to test this lows again. Uh, but this trend line wasn't clear yet. So, uh, But hopefully as soon as you had those two swings, you drew your trend line off that. And then this trade was very obvious. And uh, this is a second entry long off this chart right here. There's your new high, your pullback, your first entry, your pullback, your second entry. This is a higher low. Nothing, nothing could close below that trend line. That's a good sign. Go long just above this bar right here and definitely above this bar. And it was an easy trade. And if you got long right here, your runners were safe again. And look at that move.
beautiful move with runners and uh, you know that's 46 to um, that's another 10 points right there just off of that trade right there and then now you know for sure your trend line's good here's the next time you came back to it this was a second entry long right here that worked but because we didn't get back to the EMA or the trend line it was suspect it is a double bottom though it is a second entry long so that's enough reason to take that if you took it uh, I didn't mark it simply because you know we're looking for the key entry points which are off the trend line and the EMA and we didn't uh, make either one of those that time so technically it was a little bit of a risky entry uh, but hopefully you caught this one again there's your new high your pullback first entry second leg down second entry so that's a second entry long right off the EMA the trend line great setup there's also a triple bottom across here now you know that's a perfect setup at a key entry point and look at that move and you can see how every time all your best moves look where they come from they come from off the trend lines the key entry points and really you should have had a little short-term trend line right here off of this and look at that where your key entry where your best entries were of course you wouldn't have the trend line till right here but look at that move right there come off the trend line look at this move look at this move notice where they're all at they're off the trend line actually this is should have been down here like so and uh, you really had a little trend line break right there uh, but notice where all those nice moves are at they're off the trend lines they're the key entry what I call the key entry points and the other ones are the support and resistance look right here right here look down here where the good entries were so remember that um, I marked this one in green and this one uh, this was a good setup um, but there was no trend line break yet so I marked it in green but let me show you um, I don't have it on here but there was a trend line up here too and I had a student that actually saw this today and sent it to me too so uh, that was very good of of them and you can see that if you drew that law across there that gave you this trade and this trade um, it's perfect so I was really impressed that he found that because I a lot of times I won't even put those trend lines on there there's enough other reasons to take these trades um, but if you had that on there that made those trades even gave you another reason and made it that much clear so this one I marked in green because more, more than likely most of you would not have seen that trend line coming across there um, so again I was impressed that uh, this gentleman found that and uh, but that that was a good trade it's a fail it's a new move up uh, but there wasn't a trend line break yet so for that reason it's iffy only if you saw the trend line and knew it was coming off a key entry point um, this one was good enough that's two legs up it's a lower high there's a there's you see that double bottom across there to retest to that and uh, even if you drew your trend line you can see it's way away from the EMA it's way away from the trend line it's a strong resistance those are perfect setups if you're going against the the current move and that pretty much did it for the day there wasn't really anything in here uh, there were some more shorts as the day went on because this is a trend line break and the two legs up and hopefully you can see those two legs right there but I didn't mark anything past this point there were plenty of entries there's leg one pull back and then there's leg two almost a perfect measured move and uh, then prices start selling off again so again I didn't mark anything over here it wasn't a whole lot happening later in the day there were some entries over here but no entries in this really it's not worth taking there's nothing in here it's not really worth taking this short was probably great to take right here and then maybe this short right here but other than that that was pretty much it for the day nothing in here and by the time this set up it was too late in the day so uh, this was really the last viable trade that uh, I saw that was worth mentioning so but I'm gonna wrap it up hopefully you had a good trading day hopefully you see that and how we did that and uh, just remember the key entry points are going to be at the support and resistance which is down here and earlier it was up here and all these trend lines are are slanted support and resistance lines so that's where you're looking for prices to come back to to enter and uh, the EMA serves the same purpose um, it's like a 
moving trend line that kind of moves with the prices. So, and that's a 21 bar EMA, so keep that in mind. But anyway, 15 minutes here, I'm going to call it a day. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you tomorrow.